when we found out his uh, first grade teacher was going to be at Denmark with us, uh, we requested, we talked with the principal and requested as a smoother transition for a uh, special needs child to have the same teacher because he was losing his school, his teacher, and his bus driver all at the same time. Uh, we drive by the school, we talk about the school. Um, I'm looking for back to school books here at the library today to read to him and his sister to get them into going back to school. They're both involved with um, school supply shopping. That way they know, they're excited to, you know, oh, let's find the extra markers, let's go find the pencils and everything that they're gonna need. Trying to get them out of their nerves and everything. We went to the uh, meet and greet prior to the school, the school year ending and we're also going to the open house next week to get more familiarized where his class is gonna be. Um, after the first day, I'm not going to be there. Is he going to remember where his classroom is? He already knew the layout of his previous school. You know, is he going to forget and end up in a sixth grade classroom? Is he going to end up in a kindergarten classroom? You know, I, I have faith in his current teacher that she'll help him ease this transition. But I worry about other special needs children, other children who are have the same anxiety issues at my son's house. When we go to the open house, I'm excited for to show him a new chapter in his life. And we keep re-talking about it and reinforcing with him that this is a new beginning.